Hi all, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can set up a multivariate test in VW. To set up a multivariate test, I'm going to click on Create from the dashboard. Now, I'm going to enter the URL of the page that I want to test. Now, once I do this, a visual editor opens up in the new tab. Now this visual editor will allow me to design my combinations. So let's say I make changes on this page. I'm trying to modify the nav bar on the top. So when I do that under the multimedia testing, VW generates a section for the change with the control and the variation and it gives me two different combinations. So if I end up making one more change, so I'm trying to modify the headline here. In this case, it generates another section with the control and the variation, and it gives me four different combinations. I can accordingly rename my variation. For example, under the section one, I made changes to the nav bar. Under the section two, I tried to modify the headline. Now, VW maps these sections and it gives rise to four different combinations. So the first user who comes to your site might end up seeing a different color of the navbar. The next user might see a different headline. The third user might see both the changes together. And the next user might just end up seeing the existing page and not the changes. So if I make one more change on this page, Let's assume that I'm trying to implement a different color of the CTA. Now, VW creates another section and gives me eight different combinations. So depending on the number of changes that you make on the site, VW would give you two to the power of N combination where N is the changes. You can also add multiple variations inside the sections. For example, if I want to try testing out different colors of the CTA within a multivariate test, along with the headline, along with the nav bar, then I can accordingly add multiple variations inside a section to test that out. Multivariate testing does not have a code editor or the library that you would find under an AB test visual editor. Because multimedia testing is for testing out small changes or combinations, so hence there's no option of typing your own code. Also note that just for three changes, VW gives me eight different combinations. Then we have to accordingly redirect the traffic between these combinations. So only go with multimedia testing if you have good website traffic landing on that page. So I'll save the changes that I have created. Once you've designed your combination, you can click on next. You can then link your test to goals. Once you've selected the goals, you can then estimate how long the test is going to run for. Let's assume the existing conversion rate for the primary goal that I've selected is 5%. You can figure this out with the help of insights goals or if you have any other analytics or tracking tools, you can figure out your conversion rate. Let's say the minimum improvement in the conversion that I wish to achieve is 20%, an uplift of 20% improvement in the conversion rate. A number of combinations that we have included in this campaign is eight. You can accordingly estimate your average monthly visitors and specify that here. So now you can see that my test would run for 12 weeks approximately. If the traffic decreases, then the time taken would increase. So you can estimate this beforehand and then, real, uh, then figure out if you want to go ahead with the multimedia test or not. Once you have your duration in place, you can finalize the other settings and then you can go ahead and click on create. So this was the process of how you could set up a multimedia test in VW. Thank you for watching.